students in this video lecture we are going to learn about the viral disease that is the bunchy top of banana right so the name of this disease the common name that is the bunchy top of banana and its other name are like the bunchy top or curly top or cabbage top or it also uh, called as a uh, strangel disease right so these are the different kinds of uh, name of this disease so this banana bunchy top or we can also call it as a bunchy top of banana is caused by the virus so this virus which caused this disease is called as a bunchy top virus or banana virus number 1 or musa virus 1 so these are the three different kinds of name of this virus so this um, disease is first reported from the fiji in the fiji island in 1889 in the cavendish varieties of the banana right so around the uh, 1940 it introduced into the india from the sri lanka right through the cyclone so uh, during the cyclones what happened the uh, many plant debris uh, etc right so they swim with the water current and just reaches to the different geographical reach, uh, region right so in this way this disease get introduced in the india right through the cyclone from the sri lanka in 1940 so banana bunchy top virus uh, is a single stranded dna virus with single isomeric particles right so we are going to learn about its structure also we will observe its structure also so this virus is a dna virus means it's having uh, dna as a genetic material and this dna is a single stranded dna right so the uh, classification of this virus is like the group group second that is uh, group second include the single stranded dna viruses family nanoviridi genus babu virus and the species uh, banana bunchy top virus so this is the classification of this virus it occurs in the all over the world right like the asia africa australia and the south pacific areas right so it means it's uh, generally cosmopolitan it's most of the uh, area of the southeast asia and this south pacific and uh, in the present part of the india as well as africa it commonly found right so it was observed uh, firstly in the fiji but now uh, in today's days it's commonly found in everywhere right so in the african countries like the congo or uh, like the uh, zambia then angola okay cameroon then south africa togo so uh, mozambique right so there also it get introduced recently in the tongo it introduced in 2018 first time okay so in addition to sri lanka it has been reported in the parts of the china also indonesia also malaysia also vietnam philippines taiwan japan obviously india as well as the iran nepal etc pakistan also right and the besides the australia and the fiji it has been reported in the hawaii also hawaii um, island as well as samoa island okay then new uh, caledonia islands so this american continents they have also shown the presence of this virus so in winter is obviously the fiji and host plant is a banana plant it is a host specific uh, host specific plant uh, sorry virus what are the economic importance right why you have to study this uh, virus life uh, symptoms as well as Uh, regarding the information about this virus because the banana bunchy top disease it's the most serious virus disease of the banana all over the world right it's get spread out all over the world it's now cosmopolitan so the disease plants they rarely produce the fruits right and you know uh, which part of the plant is uh, commercially important fruits right okay so if there will be no fruit then what will happen the huge economic loss uh, can be caused to the farmers right so that's why this 
disease you have to study so the disease plants they rarely generally they develop uh, fruits but rarely um, they will get the fruits after the attacking of such virus and when they do the fruits is remain stunted and twisted and but they are um, they are edible means as this uh, virus is a plant virus so it cannot affect to the animals to the humans right so either uh, it will be get infected uh, then also you can eat the fruits of this banana the banana bunchy top disease has had a huge impact on the banana industry in the hawaii island and in the australia island right and the among other areas of the world also like the india also right so this disease was first seen on the hawaiian island of ohu ohu is the city of this island right in the 1989 and by 2002 so only 13 year later it was a major disease on four of the hawaiian island like the hawaii ohu uh, kai and mai right so the moment of this uh, bunchy top of banana virus was mostly facilitated by the human movement of diseased plant material and the banana of feeds from the island to the island so in this way it just get spread out in the 1920 it's almost completely destroyed the banana growing industry in the australia right so in this way it just get rapidly spread out what are the symptoms for this disease right no so the bunchy top is the name after one of the most characteristic symptoms of an advanced uh, infection when the leaves they becomes the progressively dwarf and upright and becomes the branch at the top of the plant with the wavy and the uh, chlorotic margins so that tends to turn uh, turn it into the necrotic and it looks like a bunchy right so that's why the name is given to the disease bunchy top of uh, banana virus right so the initially uh, the symptoms they may be difficult to detect for a uh, uh, notice due to their inconspicuous nature so the first symptoms are the dark green streak right dark green streak means the lining dark uh, green lining on the petioles and the midrib also on the leaf right so these streaks they are present along the leaves as well as on the leaf veins also right we, i will show you the photographs of this okay then the green streaks they ranges from a series of dark green dots to a continuous dark green lines so first dot will be developed and then continuous line will be developed right so this is the uh, symptoms initial symptoms the marginal um, chlorosis and the curling of the leaves will be takes place right so in this way the uh, infection gets spread out the symptoms are more severe and distinctive when the infection arise from the virus moving from the parent plant to the suckers right so these plants are typically get stunted means their height will be under 1 meter only and rarely produce the fruits right so when the aphids they carrying the virus so there is a vector for this virus right that is aphid so i will uh, show its photograph also okay so this uh, vector spread this virus right it means the aphids they carries the virus and when they are feeding on the plant on the leaves so at that time the virus will be enter inside the uh, cells of the plant right the petioles they fails to get elongated right and the leaves are reduced in their size they shows the chlorosis chlorosis means the degeneration of chlorophyll pigments and leaves will becomes the yellowish in color they stands upright and becomes the brittle and are crowded at the top that is called the bunchy top and shoe dark green streaks with the j hook means the uh, shape of this will be looking like j capital j 
okay near the mid ribs right so these are the most prominent symptoms of this disease so here you can see the banana plant it is affected by the bunch it of virus so at the top you can see how there are um, rapid um, development of the leaves are there right so it doesn't look like uh, banana if you will uh, observe but it's a banana why because it get infected by the bunchy top of banana virus and shows the bunchy top at the apex so here you can see the dark brown patches okay so this patches will be developed on the stem aerial stem okay at the margin of the uh, leaf also okay then here you can see the narrow hook like extension is there right which shows uh, shown in this picture then here you can see the dark green streaks present on the leaves so here you can see the lining the dark green lining so that is called as a streak so this this is due uh, developed due to the infection of this virus and this is the initial uh, infection okay so here you can see if you observe this leaves carefully then you can see that right so all these dark streaks lining they are ended at the mid rib and they shows the j shape structure so these are the j shape streaks right and you can see that these green uh, leaves are not looking like green in color so they are looking like uh, creamy white or yellowish color because of the chlorosis then another visible symptoms of this bunchy top of virus is you can observe here right so these leaves are becomes yellowish the leaf fall will be takes place right and there will be no uh, development of fruits and you can observe the height of that plant show uh, see this height so they are get stunted they cannot grow uh, more than 1 meter in heights right so then we will see the transmission right so how this uh, disease get transmitted so bunchy uh, banana top virus can spread from one plantation to the next by means of infected planting material right so if you are using the uh, rhizome right we will call it uh, as a kanda in marathi right so this rhizome in the nursery as well as um, if you are cultivating it naturally then this rhizome will be get infected by this virus and if you are cultivating by using this virus then obviously it will be get spread out from one plantation site to the another plantation site right so and this will be also get spread out by the banana aphids that is its scientific name is pantalonia nigro nervosa right so it's a uh, hemiptera it belongs to the class hemiptera that is apdd right so it's a aphid the immature aphid stages are sm- uh, when it's immature stage um, its size will be small and reddish brown to almost black in color they also shows the oval shape structure and when they are immature they are they doesn't have wing means they are wingless so here you can see the vector of this banana virus that is banana aphids its name is uh, pantalonia nigro nervosa so here you can see its structure right see here the uh, this aphids um, colony it's clearly visible in this photograph okay so these are the leaf sheets right so inside this leaf sheets you can see that you know, whitish black uh, structure black structure is there so these are the colony of this uh, aphids right these are living inside this leaf sheet identification of pathogen so how, how you are going to identify this pathogen the virus uh, it's uh, Iso, uh, isometric particles which measures 20 nanometer in diameter means you can imagine how small it is 
right so it's a single standard dna virus which belongs to the uh, nanoviridae family and the babu virus genus right so the virus it has the multiple component genome right so there are six circular single standard genomes known to be established up till now the this virus the concentration is more present in the phloem right as phloem conducts the food material so that's why they feed on the food material okay so that's why the concentration of this uh, virus is you will get in the phloem tissue right so it is transmitted by the infected suckers as well as the banana aphids not only banana aphids but also by the infected suckers also then you can observe the structure of this bunchy top um, uh, banana bunchy top virus okay you can see here so this is the structure of this virus okay it's generally uh, like circular in structure right and it is very very smaller in size it is single stranded um, uh, dna virus okay then we'll see the disease cycle the primary uh, it gets spread through the infected plant suckers okay and secondary by the banana aphids that is pentanolia uh, sorry pentalonia uh, nigronerosa the survivor host that uh, are like the cucumus sativum sativus then cucumus mel- uh, mellow then catharanthus roseus Uh, then gynura uh, aurantica and like that right how you can uh, manage this disease right no that is called as integrated disease management idm right so this integrated disease management uh, there are different kinds of method for the control of this disease that is like the cultural methods right the adaptation of strict quarantine measures should be takes place should be done to avoid this virus the use the wise free planting material so there are some uh, varieties of the banana which are adapted for this viruses right which are genetically modified plants so you have to use that varieties remove and rugging of the infected banana plants is also shows some uh, effective uh, control measures for the control of this disease but remember that there is no cure for the bunchy top of banana virus the regular inspection to detect and remove the infected mats right that is the rhizome and uh, its attached suckers and the replanting with the virus uh, index tissue culture plantlets which have been like this screen in the Uh, laboratory and certified as a virus free are the um, basic for good management but there will remember there is no cure for the bunchy t- um, virus bunchy banana bunchy top of banana virus if the inf- you will observe the infected part then chop it dry it and bury buried it uh, such kind of infected part of the plant maintain the cleanliness during the plantation weed free field should be um, for the early detection of the in infested suckers right the aphids they may uh, grow they may adapt on different plants so before the plantation what you have to do you have to remove all the weeds from the field okay avoid the banana cultivation in sugar cane and cucurbitaceous areas as sugar cane mosaic virus or cucurbit mosaic virus can easily spread to the banana also okay then chemical methods what are the chemical method for this viruses the vector control with the uh, systemic insecticides like the phosphomidon at 1 ml per liter or methyl uh, dimethone at 2 ml per liter of water so and just spread it right then acetamiprid as well as the clothinidin dinotifron then 
आइमिडाक्लोरि क्लो क्लोप्रिड एज वेल एज दि थाया क्लोरोप्रिड सो यू कैन यूज इट बाय टू एम एल पर लीटर ऑफ द वॉटर एंड जस्ट स्प्रेड इट ऑन द इन्फेक्टेड पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट इरेडिकेशन ऑफ ऑल द इन्फेक्टेड सकर्स बाय स्प्रेइंग विद द केरोसिन केरोसिन मीन्स वील कॉल इट एज ए रॉकल राइट और बाय इंजेक्टिंग हर्बिसाइड्स लाइक द टू फोर डी इज समवॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर द कंट्रोल मेजर ऑफ दिस वायरसेस सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कंट्रोल मेजर ऑफ द दिस वायरसेस राइट टूडे वी विल स्टॉप हियर थैंक यू